Locally, Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney is announcing a new effort to help city residents on the state's WIC program to get access to formula and to call on the state to take some steps to help those who are struggling. Our Cameron Thompson has details. And Richmond Mayor Lamar Stoney saying he is dedicating $45,000 and partnering with some local nonprofits to help those families in need. The city says there are about 1,000 families who are in Virginia's WIC program, which helps low income families with children under five by supplementing things like baby formula. However, they're still trying to break down how many of those thousand have babies that need formula. Meanwhile, the mayor also calling on state agencies to help with this. One for Virginia's WIC program to even further expand which brands of formula families can buy, something they'd already taken steps to do and to extend that expansion indefinitely. Now, a spokesperson for the G Virginia Department of Health says they've already obtained all available waivers recommended by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, which oversees WIC nationally and adds they're continuing to work with participants and health care providers to find formula. Meanwhile, the second call from Stoney was for Virginia Governor Glenn Young to declare a state of emergency in order to invoke price gouging protections for formula. First, you'll hear from the mayor on that, followed by someone from the nonprofit Robbins Foundation on how they're considering using the city funds to help families. I cannot think of a greater emergency than the inability for families to feed their babies. One thing that we're really looking into is how can we provide potentially some direct financial support to these lower income families so that they have a wide variety of options to uh, go to vendors that don't currently accept WIC at all, uh, to, to shop online, you know, things like that.